right folks i paid a visit to my local tesco and i found these new mini fillets from the fire pit range that tesco does and when i saw them i immediately thought they would make a pretty damn good wrap so i picked them up and uh, yeah let's see if they do make a good wrap or not so let's take a closer look at the packaging claim to be new fire pit exclusively at tesco lemon garlic and herb mini chicken fillets the serving suggestion they do look gorgeous in the serving suggestion so the pack serves too and the traffic lights is system is looking good it's like pretty much green across the board except for salt salt is in the amber and half a pack which is basically one serving will set you back 164 calories it's not too bad at all let's flip this over frozen chicken in a fillet seasoned with lemon oil and spices in a protective ice glaze cooking instructions are fairly simple right fan 225 to 30 minutes or you can grill them from frozen 10 to 12 minutes they also have barbecue instructions which basically say either oven cook or grill them and then afterwards put them on the barbecue for five minutes so we're going to skip that i'm going to shove them in an air fryer there is more detailed nutritional information for the folks that want it ingredients chicken breast in a fillet 96 percent we like to see that high percentage it's basically that plus some um, spices and whatnot so yeah 96 percent chicken that's pretty good made using german chicken come on now tesco what's what's wrong with british chicken uh, and the pack is 400 grams all right so let's take a look at what's inside holy crap i can't even cut a bag properly that's what we get in the bag this is what they look like right i'm going to get these into the air fryer so this is it folks straight out the air fryer you get eight of them plus a couple of little straggly bits like this Ooh, they do look good they do look good right but what we are doing so we are making a wrap so let's get our wrap down let's get some iceberg on it i better not get too much on you because i still got to roll this thing that's always the problem is rolling it right some tomato in there This has got to be rollable. Oh, that mayonnaise sounds disgusting coming out, but it's going to taste so good. Get some mayonnaise up on there. Let's crack some black pepper across this. And then I think I'm going to get two of the two of the fillets in here kind of like so do you think I'll be able to roll this thing let's find out oh yes baby we got ourselves a wrap 
There is our wrap. Right. Let me get this on the deck. And let's eat. Right. We have the finished product. So this is what they look like. They've got a nice color to them. I do like that color. This one's got a little more crispy around the edge there. They, they cook really well in the air fryer. So let's, um, yeah, I guess what we want to do is find out what it tastes like. There is the chicken on the inside. It does, it does look inviting, doesn't it? So let's see what these taste like. Oh, that is quite flavorful. It's not as moist as I'd like. It's lost a bit of its moisture. But it's got a nice, um, there's a very nice blend of spices in there, whatever they've used, I don't know. Um, the garlic comes through nice and strong. And there is a hint of that lemon in there as well. That citrusy flavor to it. As, the only criticism is it has dried a bit. That might be my fault, right? As I said, I was doing them in the air fryer. I wasn't following the instructions per se. But damn, they do taste good. But in its final form, right, we made a wrap. So I'm keen to cut this thing down the middle and see what the inside of our wrap looks like. Oh, there she is. I think these, so it was three pounds 50, right? Let's taste what this wrap is like. <laughs> oh yes, that makes a good wrap. That makes a really good wrap. That is nice. That is nice. That is a good wrap. What I like about this, it was three pound 50 for the bag of eight. I used two in the wrap. I mean, you could do a smaller wrap with just one in and stretch it out, but you're at least getting four, four wraps out of this. So kind of my plan is, I cook the whole bag, I'm gonna put what's left over in the fridge. In the mornings, you can quickly throw together a wrap in a couple of minutes, pop it in a lunch tin. At three pound 50 to give you lunch for a week. I think that's, that's um, I think that's good value for money right there. It's a very nice tasting. I'm really enjoying the um, the garlic coming through on these. Mm. They really are superb. Just not quite as moist as I'd like. But that's most likely my fault in the cooking process. Anyway, definitely worth it. Excellent value for money. Makes a brilliant wrap. Easy to do, to take to work as a lunch. But anyway, that's where we're going to end this video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.